a refugee, not an immigrant. A refugee is someone who's thrown out, thrown out of a country, and we were thrown out. Not an immigrant. It wasn't done by choice at all. Um, my parents, um, they loved their home. They loved living there. They knew nothing else. We were 20 people in the car, 22 people. We were packed one on top of the other. The, there was no lights. The cars had to drive completely in darkness. The valley is down there. No barriers, no nothing. You could see the, the odd lorry down, down in there. And I don't want, I cannot take any more of this. And uh, I was so angry for, for, for being put into that position. We were happy the first moment. Say, okay, we are in Italy, we are free, uh, nobody will come to us uh, to kill us and this and that. And then we discover, you know, you open your eyes in the morning, refugee camp, and then you go to queue for the breakfast. Breakfast. <laughs> they give you something like this, like they call it uh, uh, bread, and uh, some uh, uh, coffee and, uh, and tea or uh, milk. And then doing nothing just groups of people telling each other what happened and each one hearing the, the, the other the experience, joint experience, uh, you heard about this, you know, a lot of things. Okay, so they're outside, they're sometimes uh, playing cards, sometimes doing nothing. And only after, let's say, three, four weeks, the people start organizing themselves, go up and down from Rome or Napoli to the Jewish community to bring meat, to bring, you know, start organizing themselves and maximum after three, four months each one left the camps and went back to, to Rome mainly. Once we got to Iran, we were like refugees, like all, uh, all refugees anywhere in the world. And we were given uh, temporary papers, refugee papers, called Parwana, Parawana, that was the relief of lifetime of being under what felt like a lifetime under, under persecution. Suddenly we can walk in the street, nobody's going to be arrested, nobody's going to be hanged. Uh, in a way, that experience, some people, was negative because every minute and every hour and every day we had only one objective, get out. So now we're out. And suddenly you had to pick up your life. You have to say, okay, I'm out now. So I was 16 and something. So what do I do now? Where do I go? Having spent all their life for that one day and that day came and now they are. What do I do next? Who am I? When we arrived in England in January of 57, we were escorted, believe it or not, by St. John's Ambulance, a charity that took us from, from, uh, uh, from Victoria Station to Houston and, put, and escorted us to a, a disused army camp in Warrington between Liverpool and Manchester where we were, we were housed the St. John's Ambulance Charity that escorted us who showed a lot of patience to us because we didn't speak English. Remember we were French speakers. They gave us all the time of the world. They listened to what we had to say and they gave us, they extended to us what hospitality and this for me is, is what uh, English charities are all about. Many times I say, and I used to say this when I was a teenager, that um, when you lose your parents you become bereft, you know, you become an orphan. And on a much more sociological level, a country is, is also, they call it the motherland, so it's also like a parent. And if the politics of that country rejects you, then you are also an orphan. So many times I used to find this parallel, uh, I used to feel this parallel. I used to feel that I was uh, an orphan. I was been orphaned because I don't have a country. This is where you remember what it's like to be a Jew because both communities of Liverpool and Manchester came to find us, to see how they could help. Mm -hmm. And they, the Liverpudlian 
Jewish community offered us a disused cheder. They said, fine, since you're all going to be resettled, in the meantime, we as Jews will step in and you can have the use of this disused, no longer required cheder. So from, from being in a refugee camp in the middle of nowhere, suddenly we were allowed to live in Liverpool and to begin to, 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 to make connections with the Liverpoolian Jewish community.